Hello. Today we're going to have a look at some quick tips for assembly techniques that we can use in Solid Edge. So let's get started. First thing to do is go to the new command and we're going to open up an isometric assembly. Okay, when we do that, we go into this environment, you'll see that this is different from the, the part environment. It's got assembly commands in it, not surprisingly. First thing we'll do is put in some, some new parts. And I'm going to start off with a part called base. If I drag that into solid edge, it places the, this base plate in a permanent position. So it's what's called grounded. You can see it's centered around the, the reference planes that we use here. And the first part always happens like that in solid edge. Next, I'm going to assemble some parts on top of the base plate and the first one I'm going to use is called a rail so let's see if I can find a rail there we are and if I just drag that into my window it guesses immediately that I'm going to try and assemble this um, and that's why it's coloured green it means we're in the assembly environment and typically in solid edge it brings up another ribbon bar here that we can use to, to set various options and so on. So let's start looking at the very first option which is already selected and that's the relationship types that I'm going to use for the assemblies. If I press on that I can see a range of assembly options. Hopefully some of them are self-explanatory. Mating two faces together, aligning two faces, maybe aligning the axis of say a hole in a bolt or something. Insert, that's a handy command actually with two stages to it that includes aligning the axis and uh, a mating face, which is very handy for placing bolts. Um, there are some other ones here as well and you can have a look through them and learn them at a later date. But let's start off with assuming I want to assemble my rail. The default is flash fit and flash fit basically guesses what you're trying to do and it's pretty good at guessing most of the time. Um, we can always give it alternative instructions if it guesses wrong, but I'm going to try and use it. So first thing I'm going to do is select the base on my rail. Now that's not the base. You can see when you hover your mouse button, your mouse rather, over a, a part in the assembly, a little mouse icon appears. And basically that's telling me that it's not sure what it is I'm trying to point at. So if I right click, it brings up some options. And if I go through them, I can see that the plane that I actually want to choose is the second one that's listed there. So I just click on that. Now I'm going to try and place that on top of the base plate. It's selected the correct face there, so I'm just going to click straight away. And it places the rail on the base plate. Next thing I'm going to do is try and align it a little better. So I'm going to choose one of the, the holes in the, the rail. And again, I'm struggling to pick it, so the little icon appears, right click, and step through them and there's the axis there that I want to use. Next, the axis on the, the base plate and I've got to place one more to, to finish placing this um, rail on the base plate. So I'm going to try again, still can't find that, so right click down to the axis, select the axis on the base and my part is now fully assembled and that's why it's turned solid grey now. So I'm going to put a few more parts on. Um, the next part that I'll put on is called a, um, what's it called again, a bar. So let's have a look for a bar. There we go. And I'll drag that in. Again, you can see it's green. It's going to make some guesses about where to assemble things. So I'm going to choose the axis on that. I'll choose the axis on the top of the rail and it's placed it successfully. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to try and pick the the end or the, the, the face at the end of the bar and it's not that one so right click again it's that one and I want to make that with the face at the end of the rail and that's worked. Now it's still free to turn so I want to align the top face there with the top face on the base and you can see it's fully assembled now. So the next thing I'm going to do is put in a few bolts to finish this little bit off. 
uh, I'm going to start off inserting something called an Allen, an M8 Allen screw. Again, drag it in. It's highlighted. I could assemble it the same way as I did before, but this time I'm going to use a different option just to show you. This one, as I commented earlier, is called insert. This is a two-stage command, <clears throat> so it's a little bit more complex, but it's fast um, when you're doing things like placing bolts. So first thing, I'm going to choose the axis on the bolt, and then I'm going to choose the axis on the hole of the rail, and then I'm going to choose, I'll just zoom in a little bit, the face on the top of the, the bolt and the face on the rail. And you can see what it's done. It's placed the bolt perfectly in the, the hole. So far, so good. I could do the same again with the, the rest of the bolts around the thing, but I'm going to do it a quicker way. I'm going to use a pattern command, a rectangular pattern, and it's going to ask me a few questions. I can read them on the bottom of the screen on Solid Edge. It says, click on the items to include in the pattern. Well, that's the bolt. So click on that, and then green tick to accept that. Click on the part or sketch which contains the pattern. Well, that's the rail. Now it says click on the pattern. So if I point to one of the holes, you'll see they all highlight because it recognizes that pattern of holes. Click on a reference feature in the pattern. Well, you can click on any hole, I think, but I normally use the one that I've already placed. So I'm going to choose that hole there. And you'll see what it's done is it's placed the other bolts in it. So I'm going to press finish. So all the bolts have now been put in place with that one command. If I spin that round, you can have a look at it and see that. So that's enough to get you started with uh, assembly. If you can do that, um, you can probably do a lot more than what I've just shown you. Uh, you can experiment, try some of the other assembly options, try things and see what, when they go wrong, how you can try and fix them. And that's about that for that demo. Thank you very much and good luck with it.